hey guys excuse me welcome back to my channel i'm here today to do libra's march 2020 reading um so i decided to start pre-shuffling the cards even though that's something i don't prefer i had a few viewers who um was not interested in watching me shuffle cards i don't shuffle cards according to timing i shuffle cards according to energy and when they need to be pulled out so for this particular reading I'm going to do it this month this way. I don't know how comfortable I'm going to be doing it from here on out. But, you know, judging by you guys' reaction, you guys will let me know for sure. I know that. And you'll let me know if you like it. Um, so let's get started. So first thing we had to come out was Page of Coins. Um, could have a child that's earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. But this also tells me of a new business partnership you could have with someone. Um, something with... You know, an Aries person is a new beginning because the fool came out right up under it. But you also have some type of lover's situation that you're working very hard on, um, diligently on. This kind of tells me that this could have been an Aries as well. You have the Emperor card here as well or a Cancer person. Um, you could be older than this person or this person was older than you. Um, but somehow or another, there was a third party situation going on. Okay, you have the Three of Cups. So there was three people involved in the situation. I get that some point, some argument <laughs> has transpired or will transpire, <coughs> causing someone to walk away. <coughs> also, this could be an Aquarius, but there's definitely some type of um, verbal argument that happens, um, some type of fallout, and someone definitely walks away. And the then the original or the traditional Writer's Way Tarot deck, there is a walking away um, where someone has victory. Um, you know, someone has three swords and knocks the other two swords down. So the five of swords to me indicates some type of battle, um, but there's no victory for anyone. Um, if you did win this battle over a third party situation, someone's going to walk away and it definitely could be you. But what I also get with the six of wands, I mean, six of swords, which also came out under the eight of cups, two walking away cards, the star card fell out with the six of swords. So I found it important. To actually let these two ride because here's the thing in walking away whether it be you or this other person someone has hope and this might be an Aquarius person particularly that walks away and in them walking away they have hope um the devil card being the overall energy tells me that this was a toxic situation where you two felt bound to each other. But with this cage being open, someone was free. Normally, you'll see the two parties holding hands together. Um, under the devil, they're holding hands together. They're bound. But with this this devil card, card, oddly enough, there's only one person in this cage. And the other, you know, the other is gone, indicating someone left. Someone walked away. I feel like this could be you still a slave to that situation. Whether you want to admit it or not, um... I don't get that this is the other person. Not in your situation, it's, it, it could be. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, apply it to how you feel. But I get that this is you. Still able to break free, still able to leave. The cage is open, person already gone, but somehow or another, you're still stuck to this. Uh, with the fire energy, I definitely get this is an Aries. Um, Someone has moved on. You have a card of walking away, a card of walking You have three cards walking away, even an indication in the devil card of walking away. So somebody left. This could be a Gemini as well. You have Aries, Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn. <clears throat> but someone walked away because of a third party situation. They were done. And this could be you. Now, you could have a younger um, earth sign you could possibly be dealing with that you're trying to work on a situation with. But... There's some indication that to me that some of you are trying to have a new start, but for some odd reason still stuck on or still somehow spiritually attached to or energetically attached to a previous situation where somebody in particular, I do believe it's an Aquarius, but it could be any of these signs, has walked away. They've left and they've, <coughs> they've left some indelible prints in your life where energetically you're still holding on to this now you could be showing this emperor energy as well um but to me this indicates someone attained emperor energy and walked away now you could definitely be the person that walked away from an aquarius you could have hope in walking away from an aquarius or a capricorn or a cancer 
Aries, Gemini. And they could still be bound to the situation. But to me, in the overall energy, this is overall a toxic energy, a toxic situation. And if this was their reading, I would get that this them this this is still them holding on to it. I don't get that this is them. If you want to deny it, that's fine. That is your choice. But energetically, you're holding on to something. And you might be trying to work on a situation that you're with, with another person in this new beginning. You're probably trying to work on that. But for the most part, I get that. Both of you could have walked away from each other. Both of you could have another person involved. But while this person has walked away, they're not holding on to this. I get that you are. And even if they are holding on to it, your energy is showing up in this. This is your reading, not theirs. Could have been a Pisces with the moon we have right here and then the Pisces right here. Pisces cards could be a Pisces as well. But I get that someone is stuck to this and preferably I get it's you being honest this isn't a very difficult read <clears throat> okay so let me get two cards for the full let's get a two clarifier cards for the full okay two cards popped out just like i asked look at this nine of swords anxiety five of wands so there was some type of passionate argument that left some anxiety could be in reference to this person finding out about your new beginning Okay, and you probably didn't expect them to bounce or to leave and they left and it has you kind of anxious. It has you, you know, like you didn't expect that for this to happen or falling out. You probably thought it was going to be with that new beginning, huh? That's possible. Or they could have thought you was going to be with their new beginning. And you still have those anxious nights. You're still up at night worried about it. So let's get two cards for hmm. What was this Five of Swords about? Let's see what this Five of Swords was about. Temperance could have been with a Sagittarius or could be with a Sagittarius right now. <laughs> More cards for Five of Swords. Okay. In order for a five of swords to kind of happen, it got to be two people involved. So someone on a receiving end could have heard about someone's wish being fulfilled and them being content, them being, you know, happy now that they had their wish fulfilled. But why would a five of swords cause that? Because someone didn't like that. However, this makes sense to you. It doesn't have to. You might not understand how the other person is feeling. But if you had an argument or falling out with somebody or possibly will happen this month, it might be because someone expresses a wish fulfilled and they're like, they are content. Even if you express a wish fulfilled to them, they probably ain't responding the way you want them to respond. They're probably content and happy for you, like, good for you. You know what I'm saying? It could possibly be a Leo. They're probably like, good for you. And that probably causes an argument. You probably wasn't expecting it or vice versa. Neither were they. Now... Excuse me, I want to get a card for the, the Lover's card and the Eight of Coins. Two cards. Seven of Pentacles, somebody waiting for something to come into fruition. A love offer. Somebody's working on some type of <laughs> a recent love offer, a new love offer. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's working on it and waiting for the, you know, the, the how can I say, the results of the fruits to come in. Let's see what the Three of Cups is about. And then uh, we're going to move forward to the last three cards. Someone could have been working on a relationship or dating someone and they're like now starting to work on the nine of pentacles, three of cups. Someone decided to be single from a third party situation. Yep. Someone decided to separate themselves from a third party situation. A lot of money involved. You may be making a lot of money. Seven, six of pentacles. Um... 
somebody's giving like I feel like they're just giving generous it could be you um but I get that with this third party situation they probably just like you know not giving it to it or just giving it like hey do what you want to do but they're probably exiting stage left on this third party situation so I run two cards for all three um cards eight of cups six of swords and a star card two cards to clarify those three cards together and I feel like those three cards have the same energy but over it all this is a toxic situation for this reading two cards came out the five of swords again is something about a fallout with somebody ten of wands <laughs> this is a burden for whether it's for you or for them it's a burden it's a toxic situ situation and somebody has hope and walking away whether this be you or them five of swords came out again there's no way any other cards could have came out the ace of cups the two of cups the six of um, cups any love cards could have came out they didn't money came out wands came out and the same cards kind of repeated themselves you got a lot of money growing from the six to the seven to the nine you got money definitely got money you got a new business that could be in reference to a new business venture you're starting new job offer new job something but for the five of swords and the ten of wands to come out for the eight of cups six of swords and the star card somebody was done somebody was like this is a burden of carrying it too much this is a whole overall toxic situation and whatever was said whatever argument was had this is a burden somebody walked away they done and i really feel like this is the person that you're dealing with or was dealing with Two more cards for the chariot card. <coughs> Excuse me, Soma. I was trying not to, you know, do these readings while I was still kind of getting over my cold, but oh my God, I just want to get these readings out before March. It's like you blink and 2020 almost over. All right, chariot card. What's going on with the chariot card? So look, I can't make this up. Eight of Cups came right back out. Eight of Cups is right here. Came right back out for the chariot. How a walking away card going to clarify another walking away card? The same walking away card that's in the reading. Come on, bro. That's 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 textbook. Could be a Pisces again with the moon card. Somebody has had enough. The eight of cups clarifying the chariot card. They are done. They're walking away. Uh-uh. Two of pentacles came out, but I want I want one more for the emperor card and the chariot. Somebody had a choice and they balanced out their choice and like they made their choice. They walked away. This could be you, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I just spoke about the Ace of Cups, right? Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Somebody is making a emperor, a boss decision and moving away. And when they walk away, this is what they walk into. Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this could be you walking into your Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. But I'm talking about the person that's walking away on their end. Now, that's not to say that you don't have a happy relationship moving forward. But when I'm clarifying cards in my energy of reading the person, the person that's on the opposite side of the fence, they're walking away. To me, I feel like that's what they're doing. They're walking away to a new love offer, a new love relationship. They have the choice, and that's the choice that they made. Two of Pentacles comes right out after the Eight of Cups, right? They have that decision, and they decide on happiness and love. You can't, you can't, you can't make this up, okay? Queen of Swords at the bottom. They're cutting you off. Could be another Gemini Libra Aquarius. It's done. Possibly Aquarius Pisces Cusper. All right, Libra. So thank you so much for watching. You guys take care and you have a great one, okay? Also, I don't know why this is very odd. Two cards just felt was to the side. I didn't even see these two cards. Page of Pentacles came out again. And the Eight of Pentacles came out again. Those are just laying to the side. I didn't even see them over there until I turned my head. Um, so yeah, the key, the same cards keep repeating themselves. So it's trying to tell you a story. Only you know what to do with this. You know what I mean? I don't know your story. I'm just offering you information from what your energy is reading this month for March, 2020. Okay, Libra. So thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. Have a blessed one. See you in the next one. Bye Libra.